A 20YEAR old man reportedly killed eight homeless people in Bulawayo and Harare, and disemboweled them using broken beer bottles before brying and eating their body parts. Thandal Wenkozi and Lovu, 20, alias Soro, has been described as a modern-day Jack the Ripper and Jeffrey Dahmer rolled into one. The Ripper was an unidentified serial killer active in and around the impoverished Whitechapel district of London, England, in 1888, who killed and dismembered five women suspected to be PR0 statutes, while also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal or the Milwaukee Monster, was an American serial killer and ex-offender who killed and dismembered 17 males between 1978 and 1990 in a murderous spree spanning at least three years. In Zimbabwe's biggest cities, police said Nlovu would crush the heads of his victims with stones before cutting them up and eating them. Social media on Monday was awash with reports that three disemboweled bodies of homeless people were discovered in Harare. The gruesome murder shish zero CKED many, but police have said there is no link to rituals in the killings. In a statement on Tuesday, National Police Spokesperson Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati said Nlovu has been arrested in connection with five cases of murder that occurred in Harare Central Business District between 28 August 2023 and 4 September 2023. He said Nlovu, who is believed to be living in the streets would target street kids, who would be fast asleep and crush them and open the victim's stomachs to remove nitrils and other body parts using empty broken bottles. The cannibalistic Nlovu, Assistant Commissioner Nyathi said, he would then boil or bry the human parts on any open fireplace and consume them while in the Harare city center. He said Nlovu is linked to three murders in Bulawayo that occurred in 2020, where he crushed the heads of people in Makokoba, Bellevue and Nikulamane Sakusal Shopping Center. The suspect has been linked to three murder cases committed in Bulawayo in 2020 where he crushed a victim's head in Bellevue suburb using a brick after he found him drunk and asleep in his yard, in January 2020. In December 2020, he crushed a victim's head in Makokoba suburb after finding him asleep by the roadside. He again crushed another victim's head using stones at Sakusal Shopping Center, Nikulamane after finding him sleeping on a pavement. He then fled to Harare, said Assistant Commissioner N He said Nlovu is also linked to an attempted murder case in Harare. The suspect is also facing a charge of attempted murder and has a warrant of arrest for a robbery case that occurred in Milton Park, Harare in June 2021. The Zimbabwe Republic Police has not found any evidence to link the recent murder cases committed by the suspect to ritual killings, said Assistant Commissioner Nyathi. He said police on Monday tracked Nlovu after he tried to attack a street kid in Harare. On 4 September 2023, police detectives tracked the suspect along Rotten Row Road, Harare after he allegedly tried to attack a street kid, who did not bother to make a police report. On being arrested, the suspect was positively linked to five murder cases, all in Harare, which occurred on 28 August 2023 at the corner of George Silindika Avenue and Simon Muzinda Street, the 1st of September 2023 at the corner of Inez Terrace Road and Robert Mugabe Road, the 3rd of September 2023 at the corner of Nelson Mandela Avenue and 7th Street and on the 4th of September 2023 at the corner of Cripps Road and Remembrance Road, said assistant. They